Hi everyone! So I want to do a real quick video about my very new Raspberry Loves Kodiak. I got her on Friday and this is an A6 size with a reinforced spine. As you can see upright pocket with a natural edge and a little heart cutout that I actually didn't ask for and I looked at the Etsy shop and I saw that it, this is a wasn't a default mood, so I, I don't know why I got it, but uh, I absolutely love it. And, well, the inside still looks the same. I haven't changed out the dashboards or anything. But uh, I'm going to show you the back here. <clears throat> here we have the smaller pockets and then the big one. And this is, I didn't know this, but the Kodiak is a pull-up letter. You see? here that uh, rubs out and I seriously didn't understand the hype about the Kodiak I couldn't understand why I thought it was looking quite boring you know it's brown and well I, I just didn't understand it but since I got her I totally get it I can't stop touching her just picking her up and smell her. I mean the smell. Oh dear lord. I'm just gonna open her up like... oops. Like this. And the softness of the leather. I, I didn't really expect this. If I had to compare her to another notebook that I have it would be my creme brulee from uh, Chick Sparrow. It's the same kind of softness and lush and scrumptious feeling about it. And it's a type of leather that I have fallen more and more in love with since my creme brulee. And now that I have this Kodiak, I feel like, oh crap, I need more Kodiaks. And you see, I can't... This is the back. I can bend it like this and it stays. And then it flops like right back. And I can... I haven't rolled her so I don't know how she will look if I roll her but... I presume I can like fold her in every direction because she shows... because she's so soft. The funny part is I would still not call her floppy. I can't really explain why but this is not floppy for me. This is... This is soft and flexible and durable and I really I really appreciate that I listened to people's advice to getting pockets because everyone said that the Kodiaks without the pockets would be really floppy. So I'm really happy I chose the default mode of this and had pockets because I think it helps with the structure. And now I haven't put anything in here, but I imagine if I put something in here, it will make her even more structured. And this was a limited edition on F Speckled Fawn's Etsy shop. I'm going to show you the mark. It's so gorgeous. I still think, like, it's not as clear as, she, as it could be, but this is by far the best logo stamp that I have had on my three Speckled Fawn's so far. Um, but I still think this one is available on the Etsy shop. So if you are contemplating getting it, just freaking do it. Because you will love it. I absolutely adore this pocket with the red against the brown. I also asked for a really, really dark brown, almost black. And this is the darkest brown I have seen, I think. So I'm super happy that Terry listened, listened to me. And I asked for the same stitching and the same elastic as they had in a show picture in the shop. And it looks so freaking amazing. And I, I seriously can't stop handling her. And here my my little hardware thing that I found in a drawer at my grandpa's house. I moved it from my nude because I wanted to keep it with me. It's quite heavy so it's like clonk. But I don't care. The only downside with this pocket is it's not as high as the one on my nude. 
So I'm a bit afraid that my pens will just slide right out when I toss her in my bag. This one will stay because it has the clip. But these two, I think, will just slide right out. I'll have to think of something to keep them in place. But it's just a minor, teeny tiny bitsy thing that really don't change anything. And this take I'm going to show you. Oh, here we go. Here, this texture here is really smooth. And it's like suede-like. I really love it. I'm also going to show you here, if anyone was wondering, how, how does the Kodiak... Uh, scratch a markup. There you go. And I just. Okay, maybe I just did that a little bit too hard. But if I rub it, it fades slightly. Okay, I might have done that a bit too hard. That's gonna be a real mark, perhaps. Yeah, but as you can see, it's almost not visible anymore. So I think this will age quite slowly. I mean, it's going to get dents and it's going to get scratches and everything. But I think because you can rub it away, I think it's going to age more slowly than other leathers. Okay, that was that. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And I hope you enjoyed watching my little video. Bye.